If you are a new designer or a user experience designer or UI designer and you are wondering about what is design sprint. So I'm going to explain very simple terms in this video. What is design sprint and how do we do it in different firms or its introduction, what it is, how we do it in just five minutes. Okay, so I'm going to explain it as quickly as I can. So what is design sprint? Design sprint is basically where UX falls apart. If you uh, try to do the traditional way of user experience design process, it is going to take like six months. So what Google did, actually the team at Google was led by Jake, uh, Jack, uh, Jake Knapp and he actually wrote the book Sprint uh, and how to solve problems quickly with prototyping. So what he did is the idea was try to avoid very large uh, deliverables or specs or detailed specs writing rather than writing like hundred of pages of specifications that we found this in user experience design process they try to minimize that time and they uh, minimized it to five days so each design sprint is five days long you can do it like in 10 days it's de it depends on your own uh, methodology or your own you know firms or agencies policies or whatever you you know think your team think okay so five days first day first day we are going to uh, mark and map what we actually need to test because if we are trying to build something that has 10 features and 10 different flows i think you cannot test it with the user so Think about what is the unique feature or what is the one feature that is going to make your customers say, wow, what is that? I, I really want this. So target that one function, one feature and build quickly build a prototype based on that. Okay. So you have marked your uh, aim or you are going to mark that aim and in the next day, you are going to diverge and converge. If you remember Don Norman's double diamond theory of design, it says that you have to find to have you have to find the problem first. So you diverge, you try to get what are what could be the problems user is going to have in this specific app or this idea or this feature, and then you try to converge on different solutions. Uh, find the problem, single problem, converge and then try to create different solutions for that. Again, you are going to diverge. So in this scenario, I think you can pick like two or three different uh, designs or solutions that you think uh, have got the most votes. So third is actually you get all the team to vote on it. One tip, if you want it to work uh better it is it is a collaborative process so design sprint is going to happen if you have your development team or dev teams your marketing team your ceos or your uh, you know managers or stakeholders and designers product managers in the same room in the same space or in the same uh, premises so you have to run that uh, in five days quickly if everyone is there so everyone is going to draw a prototype they are going to participate in building this prototype they are going to vote for the best solutions and you are going to choose one or two solutions best solutions at the end so this is basically the whole pattern of uh, you know a design sprint mark what you want to build uh, converge and diverge find the solution best solution find the problem next is uh, build quickly build prototypes try to you know find the solutions voting uh, which is the best solution and then you are going to quickly test it with the user on the fifth day so once you have built the prototype you are going to show it to your uh, customer your users and test them now the main purpose behind design sprint is that we want to get feedback on a prototype or product as early as possible this is actually the aim so you get your product in front of the customer 
and you get the feedback and then you iterate, again build the prototype, next design sprint, five days, come up with another solution. Uh, for the problems you see, users are going through. And you come back and keep that, you can build the product in like two or three weeks. That prototype is going to be the first step of your actual product, okay? So you can build this prototype uh, prototype as a paper prototype. You can build it as a digital prototype. You can have it as a physical prototype, physical product, something, you know, uh, what Jake Knapp did. They actually, um, you know, uh, stick an iPad on a robot face and use a face on the iPad just to show that this is the robot's head. So this is how they got the early feedback in the hotels, hotel rooms, they actually were, you know, providing their customers some like you can say souvenirs or like some sheets or something like that. They were sending robots, they were holding sheets like that, bed sheets. And when they, you know, entered or knock at the door and they wanted to see what the customer response would be for this prototype. So that was their idea and it actually worked that uh, uh, customers were you know amazed and delighted what I am getting a robot serving me now and robot put a smile face after that when you you know pick up the uh, sheets and they were all controlling it via a camera behind and it was a fake prototype but it actually worked so they wanted to see how it actually works and what expressions and feedback you get from your users. So this is a story of design sprint and this is how you do it, okay? Mark and decide what you want to build. Next is try to converge and, divert, uh, converge and diverge and converge to find the problem and the best solutions. Then build the prototypes on that solution, what you are trying to solve. Vote for that prototype. Every team, everyone is going to be present in that room and then you are going to test it with the user and get the feedback, iterate, that's it, okay? So this is how you are going to run a design sprint. I think a lot of companies and uh, other, you know, organizations, they have changed this process. So that is all. I will see you soon in another video. Till then, take care, bye-bye, and make sure you like, subscribe, and share this video.